We are back with more local election coverage. Thomas Fournier is our QAnon Bureau reporter. He's normally up this early bringing folks the news on the day via radio. This morning, he joins us virtually to talk a little more about some of the big races he's been following in that part of the UP. Thomas, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Rebecca. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Last hour, we talked about the Hoden Portage Township Schools bond millage. This has been an ongoing conversation since last year. This one passed by a margin of just 30 votes. The millage passed by a vote of 1,820 to 1,790. Thomas, remind folks what happens now that the proposal has passed. So the millage is going to fund technology and security upgrades for the district as well as add some space over at the elementary level with a um, pre-K uh, facility. Um, over the last 10 years, HPTS has grown by 101 students, uh, with 30 to 40 percent of students coming from outside of the district. Uh, and this millage will levy $23 million and extend that rates out until 2031. Let's now turn to the 110th district. Incumbent Greg Markinen retains his seat. He tallied 11,700 in votes to the 7,201 received by challenger Kim Corcoran. What can you tell us about that race? So uh, Representative Markinen was first elected in 2018. Like you said, he earned 11,700 votes. Uh, Keweenaw and Ontonagon County voters uh, gave him an uh, 3,497 of those votes. We met with both of these uh, candidates back in August, uh, where we got to learn a little bit more about uh, Kim, Mayor of Ironwood, Kim Corcoran, at the Hone County Fair, and we talked with Representative Markinen on the phone. Um, both campaigned in our area on the um, issues that are impacting the conditions at the prisons, uh, especially how it's impacting workers there. And they both spoke with the uh, League of Women Voters at community forums in Houghton Portage Townships and down in Gogebic County at the end of September and start of October. We also saw Sheriff Josh Saarinen retain his position. Any other races of note you wanted to go over before we let you go? Uh, yeah, there's a few things going on out here in, in Houghton County and the rest of the western area. Uh, Joel Karanen was able to defeat uh, Casey Verberkmos in the District 2 spot for Houghton County's commission. Uh, he'll rejoin Glenn Anderson, Roy Britz, Gretchen Jansen, and Tom Tickenen, who all ran unopposed. Uh, Onsenagan County's 5th District chose Ron Storr, uh, and he defeated Marlene Bromey with 62% of that vote. And then in Keweenaw County, Donald, uh, Donald Pish will... Uh, retain his seats, defeating A.J. Kern with 213 to 140. Excellent. And uh, Thomas, we always appreciate everything that you do for us and our viewers to keep them informed about what's going on in the copper country. What else are you working on this week for our viewers? So tomorrow I'll be heading down to Wants and the Meadowbrook Arena. They have some upgrades that just got put in down there and open skating is going to be starting up soon. So that's exciting. Uh, and today we'll have a piece for the q and Co-op and their grand opening that will be on Saturday um, with 97 The Wolf, our one of our radio stations out here, will be doing a remote show for their grand opening. And as you mentioned, the radio, how can people tune into you on the radio to hear all the news that you have going on? You can catch me on q and Report. You can hear that on 97 Sound The Wolf, 102.3 K-Bear, and 99.3 The Lift. Excellent. Thank you, Thomas. And we will have all of those updates from the Copper Country as well on myupnow.com. Just go on the homepage, find the little hamburger with the drop down menu that has the election results, and you can find that all there. Thomas, again, thank you so much for providing coverage from the Keweenaw.